G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So jumping straight into Go Battle League and uh, we're still in the Great League and as you can uh, see from my last two videos I haven't been doing too well since I've got to rank 8. So I've only done two sets of 5 in rank 8 and I went 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. Um, so I did swap up my team so that might be part of the problem. Um, but what I will do is I've got all of my battles from rank 1 to 7 um, as well. So I'll link the playlist now and you can check those out just to see what you'll sort of expect to see and definitely I think there's been a massive difference between um, well, well even rank 7 and rank 8 but um, particularly once you get rated um, I found a, a big big difference so in rank 6 when before rating and then in rank 7 and again in rank 8 it's just been uh, pretty brutal for me to be completely honest so I'll, uh, I'll jump in to the Great League, and I swapped up my Reggie for a um, Wigglytuff, and I don't really like it. It's not been working out too well for me. I did think that since the Shift Tree Community Day was yesterday, um, that I'd be seeing more Shift Trees, and that's going to absolutely monster the Shift Tree. So that's why I switched into the Wigglytuff, and also because of its normal typing, um, any of the the Ghost moves, it's going to be a good swap in for that. But I'm not actually seeing much. Uh, much uh, to do with the ghosts so um, and the only ghost I did see um, in my battles yesterday was on the lead so well yeah so I saw a lead um, ghost and yeah not helpful if you're going to switch in because they're just going to switch straight on out so makes it a bit difficult that one so um, um, the other thing that I'm seeing a lot more of now is um, grass types and so grass types are not great for my team um so not great for the regis team with registeel so uh, azumarill galvantula and registeel uh, particularly the meganium just because um it was so um it counted my azumarill and the registeel and it charges move so quickly and it's tanky itself so um, I think what I am going to do is swap my team up a little bit so um, what I'm thinking of doing is throwing in my own meganium into the back here so let's just not worry about searching for it um, and we'll find it there. And so the other thing that I am going to do is uh, swap my Galvantula to the lead and then have the Meganium and the Azumarill in the back. So let's see how that goes. It is a bit of a different team. Um, I may end up swapping out the Meganium for the Reggie Steel, um, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's uh, let's jump in um, a little bit of a different team again um, and see how we go. So I don't know whether this is a bad idea. So getting to rank eight and then swapping up my team, um, finding a lot more uh, hard counters and things. So. Maybe I should just be sticking to my uh, old team. So this is the perfect instance where a um, uh, the so I'm not going to shield this first one um, because it is the power up punch. So that's not ideal for me. So because it is well, it's actually not going to do barely anything. So I will throw my move here um so bug buzz would have been super effective but i don't i think they're going to shield anyway um yeah so they're going to shield that up and it just saves a little bit of energy um so we'll just go straight into the discharge again let's see what they do um so whether they'll commit two shields to this i'm not sure um let's find out so yeah they're committing two shields so that's fine um so for this one um I may commit a shield here. So it is the foul play. So a good shield there. Um, let's see what they do. So it did take them a little bit longer. They probably will get to their charge move before I will. Um, and I am not going to commit the shield here. Um, so this is just going to be the power up punch, which is fine. Um, and so what I'm going to do is so throw in my... Uh, Azumarill because it can farm up. They'll probably throw another 
couple of moves. Um, they're all going to be resisted, so as long as I can get um, some energy here, this will work out pretty well for me. So I'm going to over farm a lot here, probably let them throw another one. Um, so this is starting to build up, let's be honest. Um, that chip damage is really starting to add up. Um, so it's now got me down into the yellow. Um, I'm hoping I can charge this town before it gets to another one, which I can. Let's see what comes out now. Um, so Oh, so that's brutal. So they've uh, really uh, got me there. So they've swapped this out, and now they've probably swapped in something that's uh, that's weak to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, come on, go for the ice beam, and then I'm going to swap out myself. Um, let's see what they do here. Um, and then they can throw their... Uh, so I'm not going to shield that up. Um, they'll throw their frenzy plant. It's not going to do much damage to me. And then uh, I'll be able to take this out. So um, I think I'm going to go for... So what is Bastiodon? So Bastiodon is steel and rock. So I am definitely going to go the earthquake here. Um, so I'm just trying to think of whether frenzy plant, so whether grass is super effective. Um, but I do know that the... Uh, yeah, so that is going to do the trick right there. Um, let's see if they actually get to a charge move before me. No, so they've not managed to get to the charge move, so that's fine. Um, and then I'll... Uh, so that was the right play on their part um, to throw out the Bastiod on and then swap straight into the Meganium um, because obviously I used up um, a whole bunch of energy um, on throwing that Hydro, which was uh, resisted by the Meganium. So that was a good play on their part, um, but I was able to get to the um, Ice Beam and then swap out to wait, burn their energy in return. So sort of return the favor a bit there for them. Um, so let's uh, jump into the next one. So that worked out okay for us. Um, to be honest, had that been the Azumarill in the lead, that would have been uh, just as, well, probably a fraction better um, because it was resisting all of those moves. Um, so they would have probably had to swap out. So who have we got now? Toxic Mega Colon. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see what we get. So throwing out the Galvantula on the lead. Um, so this is interesting. So let's see what they do here. So I'm just going to go straight up Discharge. Um, just because, obviously, um, the bug moves on a steel type is really not what you want. I'll be able to, so, and this damage is going to add up, so they'll be able to get to a flash cannon pretty quickly. So they've managed to get to the flash cannon now. So I don't think I'm going to shield. This is going to probably take a third, Ooh, so probably half, so 50% health right there, um, go on for that. So let's just uh, throw the next one. Um, so I will use a shield this time, um, and then we'll see what they've got in the back, because I do want to win this uh, this matchup, so let's see. So they were able to get there really quickly. So I'll match the shield here. Um, I don't know whether I will be able to um, yeah, get if, well, let's see whether this is, um, and so they've swapped out. Oh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating because I could have used the bug buzz there instead of the discharge. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap into my own um, meganium here, um, and then let's see what they do. So I'm fully expecting a frenzy plant here. Um, so I think I'm going to charge up to a uh, earthquake just to threaten um, and then I'm going to throw my frenzy plant just because I want them to sort of think I'm possibly going to be you spending a bit more energy maybe get a shield out of it so I wasn't able to get the shield there and that's fine um, so I'm not going to shield this either let's see what they do they could be going for the earthquake themselves they're not they're going straight up frenzy plant which again I am fine with so let's just overcharge a little bit here and throw that frenzy plant are you kidding so that overcharge right there, so I'm going to have to shield this, um, and that 
is my own fault for over farming and that's what happens um, when you over farm so let's just I'm going to I don't want to fully take it out to be completely honest with you and I did so I just wanted to get a little bit more energy there let's see what comes out now um, can I get to my earthquake? I can, I can get to the earthquake. So they probably won't shield this up. Um, let's see what they do here. Um, oh, so they did shield that up, so that's fine. Um, and then they'll just fast move, farm me down. Um, for this though, I'm in a pretty good place. So the, this, I'm really hoping it's only got dark type moves. Um, Ah, uh, it's got last resort. I don't like it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, well, they're just absolutely peppering me. So I'm just really trying to think of what the best move is here. Um, so what I might do is now swap out into the um, bug. And if I can get there, which I can't. Um, so that's unfortunate. I really would have liked to get to the bug buzz there. Wasn't able to, but at least that means it's going to be, let's just get the hydro. So really, oh, and they got one extra fast move in. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure about this one, to be honest. So um, unfortunately, so now they're gonna swap into the Reggie and this is gonna take me very, very low. Um, I don't know whether it's gonna fully take me out or not, um, but it is gonna take me low, the flash cannon, yeah. So that's got me really low. So um, what I'm gonna have to do is overcharge here a little bit and then throw the ice beam. I don't know why it took so long for that ice beam to throw. I wanted it to throw probably one or two moves faster than that. Um, this will take it out, um, but do I have enough? No, I don't, so it's gonna farm me down. Oh, it's got enough energy to throw straight away there. So um, really unfortunate wasn't able to get to that bug buzz um so again switching out was well, switching out on the galvantula and catching that charge move on the meganium was uh, what won them that match so good uh, good effort on their part and i just need to learn not to um yeah, need to need to wait one extra turn before throwing those charge moves because that's what's really uh, causing me a bit of problem at the moment. So need to keep an eye out for that. So let's see what we get on the lead. Um, so we've got the wish cash, which is not good for me. Um, it's going to be doing... Yeah, this is really not good. I haven't got... Um, so what I want to do is I'm not going to shield this up because the mud bomb's not going to obviously not going to take me out, and then I'm going to swap into my um, Azumarill, and uh, so that works out for me because what I ideally want is my um, yeah. So not ideal because oh, so it's Azumarill versus Azumarill, which is fine. Um, so I'm just going to go straight up hydro pumps. I'm really hoping they don't have um, play rough. They may have a play rough uh, Azumarill, and if they do, they're going to win this match. So um, if not, let's see. So I'm not going to shield either, and we'll see how we go. So um, ideally, I'd like to say so they do have play rough, so that means they're probably going to take me out before the next... Um, before I can get to my next uh, Hydro so what I'm gonna do is throw the ice beam I know it's not gonna do very much damage, but at least it'll do a little bit of chip damage um, And so I'm gonna let this go Oh, so it's not quite taking me out there, which is not ideal for me um, would have really liked that to take me out. So let's see what they do here. So they'll probably be able to throw an ice beam on me now. Um, so I will shield the ice beam up and let's see what they uh, what they do. So yeah, so definitely the ice beam is the way to go there. Um, 
So I'm going to throw my own frenzy plant there just because if they want to shield that up they can they probably won't because they'll want to i don't know what they're saving shields for so it's for the skarmory so this is not ideal for me um and i've gone the wrong thing here oh and it let me change and then they swapped out of course they did um they probably will shield this up um, because why wouldn't you okay so they didn't um so i'm going to just throw straight into my next move um, so that should have been the bug buzz I knew they were going to switch that out um, but there's not really much I can do so and then that one of course that one they shielded up which is just ridiculous um, so I'm not going to bother shielding this and I'm just going to I don't know what I can do here there's not really anything let's be honest so I'm just going to um, if it's a blizzard it's a blizzard um, I need to save this for the um, for the skarmory. So let's see. So I'll be able to farm that all the way down, um, and then just start throwing the frenzy plants. Um, so I they've got a shield. I can't win this match. Um, yeah, yeah, just really not able to win the match. So we'll just keep throwing these moves. Um, so obviously the ground typing is super effective against the um, the, f the steel, but because they're flying, they're immune to ground. Um, so really not ideal. So I really would have liked this to be matched up a little bit differently. And in order to do that, I needed to um, somehow win the, and they're probably just gonna fast move farm me down here, um, which they are, so. Happy days. Um, so not as far off as I thought it would be, um, but certainly not ideal. Um, yeah, I don't know what I could have done differently there. So definitely the bug buzz on the uh, uh, on the wish cache would have been the way to go. So I'm going to jump in and same uh, same again. Um, yeah, so these leads are really all over the place. So there's not something something that's consistent yet um, and I'm just trying to figure it out so um, so this is okay for me I guess um, so it's gonna have rock throw which is not ideal so I'm gonna have to shield this up but that's fine I will do that um, so it's gonna have rock throw which is brutal um, it's gonna absolutely tear through me so let's see yeah so rock slide sorry so let's see what they do here so they've swapped up to the um, Meganium. So this time I went the one extra fast move and let's hope they don't shield this and they haven't. So that's just absolutely monstered them there. Um, so that's what I really love about um, good old uh, Galvantula. So Galvantula's now done its job. So I'm going to let that frenzy plant through and then I'll be able to fast move that down. So let's see what comes out next. So they'll still be switch locked here, which is really perfect for me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is come in with my own, uh, so no shield here. So it's either it's rock slide, I imagine. They're not gonna superpower me, um, not at this sort of uh, range. And so what I'm gonna do actually is just go for the frenzy plant. I know it's going to be resisted, um, but even if it is, uh, so it'll be interesting to see if they shield this up or not and they have so absolutely perfect for that um, so maybe what I should have done there so I won't shield this either it's going to take me low um, down into the red yep so that's fine um, so I may have actually um, yeah really uh, so that's not ideal uh, really not ideal for me there so what I'm going to do, so they've probably got the thunder, so I think they've got two moves out there. So one, two, three, four. So, I don't know. Um, I don't think it was enough to get to Thunderbolt, is it, from this? And it was obviously enough to get to a Thunderbolt. So that's one, two, three, four. So, yeah. Um, this is now very, very precarious. So with that poor, poor play on my part, 
So they've not shielded that up either, so that's brutal. Um, so I'm going to have to shield now. Have to shield this one up. Let's see what it is. If it's the, the rock slide bait, that's absolutely perfect on their move. So it's not. So they're potentially going to switch this out. Let's see. Um, so I am just going to throw my ice beam here. Um, just because they're getting very, very close to being within range for the ice beam. So I will throw that now. Um, and switch to the Galvantula. So no, apparently I can't switch to the Galvantula. Um, so this is going to be... Oh, and it's a Psycho Boost. So we'll switch to the Galvantula now. Um, and then throw this, because they switch to their Mel Metal. Um, and so this will be interesting to see what happens here. So this... Oh, so do I have enough for... No, I can't throw back to back, because they've got the shield. Really frustrating. So I, I, uh, my issue with this game is, yeah, I, I lost this game for me. So I should not have switched out. I should have let them. Uh, actually, it makes no difference there. That was my poor play using the meganium on a, uh, on a, yeah, on a, on a, yeah. What was I thinking? Um, yeah. Let's uh, jump into the next one. And. So what I should have done there is thrown in, even though the its quick moves on the Mel Metal were super effective. Probably should have gone in with the um, uh, Azumarill just because it was going to be doing more damage. So let's see what happens here. So this is interesting. Um, so they've managed to so. Uh, I'm not going to shield this first one up because, again, I can take this first flash cannon, which is fine. Um, and now I'll just throw my own discharge if it will ever let me. So let's just get that done. So I'll throw it out into this second one so they can make the choice whether they want to shield this up or not. So let's see what they do. So, yep, yeah, got the shield there. So I will shield as well. Um, so I'll drop a shield here too. And I should be able to make it to my um, next one before they do. So you really got to be careful of the swapping here. Um, let's see what they do here. So here's my discharge, if it will ever actually let me go um, that over tapping is really getting me so they've shielded twice here so that's interesting um, so do I do the same or do I not so I am going to do the same I want to win switch I've not been winning switch and it's been costing me games so um, if it would let me throw so I know that was a waste of a charge move but I just couldn't risk um, them throwing the charge move. I've been doing that recently and it's just been costing me games. So let's see what comes out. Fully expect this to be, so it's a psychic, so that's interesting. Um, so they're gonna, yeah, take me down there. So they probably have Thunder Punch and, so I'm gonna go with the Meganium. Let's see what they do here, just because, um, I'll be able to get to my charge moves faster. So this is probably going to be an ice punch. Um, let's find out. Yeah, so it is the ice punch, but it shouldn't. Oh, so it does do quite a bit, which is frustrating. Um, so they're not swapped out yet. So I will be able to throw this um, move. So that's taken out a big, big chunk. One, two, three, four. Oh, and I wanted to get out of there. Um, but So this is going to be really interesting to see what their last Pokemon is because this is going to take me out and then I'll be able to farm up some energy on this thing with my Azumarill and they've probably got a Thunder Punch as well. So what are they throwing out to? The Wish Cash, which is fine. Um, so they're going to be putting some damage on here. So this is interesting. So Wish Cash... So the question is, should I be hydro pumping? And I will, I will just go the hydro pump because I don't want them to get to, I don't want them to do too much damage there. Um, 
I don't think this will take it out anyway. Um, so I should be able to, so will I be able to fast move farm this down? I don't think they'll have enough energy on the Hypno to throw straight away. So if I can farm this down, um, and get to an ice beam. I'll be able to take out the come on. Don't let it get to another one Of course, I let it get to another one So close so annoying so mud bombs gonna take me very very close But I should be able to ice beam this as soon as it comes out if it will let me um, and then that, that should be enough if I've uh, calculated correctly the amount of health left and I have so that's all right so that's uh, taken it out there so um, the choice there against the um, hypno to throw out the meganium and probably it would have had thunder punch as well so not knowing that they had a wish cash in the back so obviously it would have been really really good to have my um, meganium paired up against their wish cash um, but it's not to be so went two and three there so again that's not so much on the team but that's my decision making i feel like that was a lot stronger than my team with the wiggly tough in it um, but i just made some poor decisions there and i had some opponents that made some really good switches so in that second game so swapping out the meganium well, swapping out the Reggie into the Meganium on the charge move and absolutely waste some energy. And so as you can tell, I learnt from that in the next game and through the bug buzz and just absolutely monsters the Meganium. So um, you really got to time those switches and be careful of those fast moves. So um, really solid team, I think. Um, the lead is really difficult because at the moment, there's so much variety um, and so I guess the problem with leading with my Galvantula is because it's so squishy you you kind of want a um, a little bit of an energy advantage so they can do some damage and you, you have to pretty much shield with the Galvantula and then you're losing shields for everything in the back um, so I don't know that that's ideal so I might have to look into swapping that up we'll see what uh, see what we get though um, hard to say um, what I might do is uh, claim this and see how that affects my rating so 2154 so let's see what that does so 2144 so go gone down 10 um so that bodes well for when i won three and lost two i went up two uh, two elo emr whatever you want mmr whatever you want to call it um so I went up two ratings so i'll link to that one now um so one three lost two and went up two um lost two uh just then, win two, lose three, and go down ten. So that's going to make it um, a real slog. So um, check those videos out. Um, hopefully that was useful for someone. Um, so the other thing I might change it up for is swapping out my Meganium to the Tropius. I am not seeing as many Registeels now, and lots of people are leading with the Registeel. So I'm um, not keeping the Registeel in the back because I guess a lot of people are... Uh, have got pretty hard counters to it so uh, maybe a tropius is okay so if a tropius gets matched up against a registeel it's um not a fun time for you but i mean there's going to be that match up for every single pokemon and you've just got to be trying to win that switch advantage and hopefully you have uh, the pokemon that counters counters them so uh thank you very much for watching i'll uh, see you in the next one bye for now